It was like a mystery, like a monster. Now all of a sudden it is killing people all over the world. I don't want to take anything home to my family. What constantly went through my mind of what is it with my mother, what if it were my sister? People were scared, I mean legitimately scared. And the numbers were growing. We really started to realize that COVID was not just going to be something that was going to affect our medical patients, but something that would also affect our trauma patients and especially, you know, we had to protect our trauma staff. Dr. Coopwood immediately assembled a team of people. Ben started making a plan before we ever even needed a plan. We were all wanting to be a part of something big and we felt like we were a family. All non-essential employees were asked to work from home. We were told to wear masks, and then we were told to wear face shields. Visitation stopped almost immediately. I got it, then my mom got it. I was terrified. I had tons of therapists going out due to COVID-related illnesses, a bunch of patients being admitted that were COVID positive. We made the decision to have my children stay with my parents, and that went on for five months. It was interesting for trauma season that, you know, not only were we dealing with COVID, but this was the busiest year we've ever had. But we were also resilient in knowing that we had a job to do and that we must get it done. For a little while I cried on the way home from work every day and then eventually I was crying on the way to work and on the way home and I just, at work I tried to stay busy and not think about it too much. I immediately began to think, not necessarily for the patients, I began to think about our staff members because when you think big, it involves everybody. It was really just trying to figure out the best way to continue to do what we do best and that's serve our patients. I did not have to ask anyone to work in there. I had volunteers. We were adapting to our new norm. And it turns out that uh, due to my age, I was in a high risk group. I didn't like learning about that, but I love my work and I feel that I'm needed here. And it was clear that I was needed even more. It's amazing what we were capable of and the perseverance that we all went through together. In totality, there were 23 persons that I came in contact with that lost someone. A husband, a wife, a grandfather. The first thought is, don't let their memory die. There was one patient who wanted to write a letter for his daughter and the nurse actually dictated that letter for him and then I delivered it to her. And while it may have been difficult for us, it was certainly harder for the two of them than I could ever imagine. I, I lost a patient to COVID. She died on Christmas, so that was tough. That was probably one of the hardest moments that I've dealt with being on the unit. The assurance was, we're in this together. So if you hurt, I hurt. That's one of the things that got us through the tough times, the, the Junes and the Julys and the August when it felt like everybody was falling apart. We held on to each other and that got us through. Yeah, the vaccine story I think is, is a miracle. It was amazing to be one of the first people to get the vaccine because, you know, you feel grateful that you've gotten it before you were affected. My whole team was passionate about the patients and seeing their passion makes you want to come in and do the same, match that day in and day out. No matter what situation they were faced with, I mean, we have to get in here and take care of these patients regardless. That's what kept me coming here. I knew that I had a job to do. I knew that I wanted to see patients, whether they were COVID positive or not, 
get better and transition back to home. The trauma patients are still taken care of. The staff are adapting and continue to treat the highest acuity trauma patients in this region, again, without any sacrifice and any care. We're gonna love our patients and we're gonna respect their families and we're gonna do all we can to make sure that they know that at Regional One Health, we're bigger than a hospital, we're a family that cares. Regional One Health proud.